to locate the deepest portion of the coronoid notch, which determines the height of injection. The pterygomandibular raphae is visualized and the internal oblique line is palpated just lateral to the raphae to determine the point of injection. If this structure cannot be palpated, it is assumed to be directly lateral to the raphae. The needle penetrates the tissue and a few drops of local anesthetic are deposited. The needle is then advanced until the ramus is contacted just posterior to the internal oblique line. The needle is advanced toward the lingula, stopping after 5 mm to deposit 0.5 cc of local anesthetic to anesthetize the lingual nerve. After initial contact with the ramus, advance a total of approximately 10 mm. The needle should lose contact with the medial surface of the ramus as it slides into the mandibular sulcus. Three quarters of a milliliter of local anesthetic is deposited slowly over one to two minutes and the needle is withdrawn. Profound anesthesia will result in three to five minutes and can be confirmed by inserting an explorer between the canine and first primary molar. 